At the Metro court pool, Sasha stabs Kobe in the back. He turns, asks her why, and falls to his knees. She continues to see him as Cyrus, and Maxi rushes and tells Sasha to stop. Sasha warns everyone to stay away, and that she can't let him hurt anyone else. Sasha goes to attack Cody again, but Maxi throws herself against Cody and tells her that Cody isn't hurting anyone. Sasha says it's Cyrus when suddenly she sees Cody again. Cody collapses. Maxi screams for someone to call 911, and Sasha wonders what she's done. The reporter at least films what happens as the paramedics show up to take care of Cody. Sasha breaks down and doesn't know why she did that. A detective arrives and tells Sasha that Cody is in bad shape, and he's been told she is responsible. He says she's being charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Maxie explains Sasha isn't well and should be in the hospital, not jail. Maxie shows him Sasha is on antidepressants, which she pulls from her purse. Elise explains Sasha has a history of mental breaks after the death of her son and husband. Austin meets with Ava at the Metro Court Grill and whispers in her ear their attraction to one another might be what saves their lives. Sunny and Nina arrive shortly. Nina asks if Ava's sure she wants to double date seeing how close she and Austin are to one another. They sit down, and Nina apologizes for being late, as she was trying to find information on Curtis. Ava feels so bad for Trina. Austin says he too is thinking about Portia and TJ. Sunny notes Austin seems close to his colleagues and knows Britt trusted him. Austin says she did but thinks he might not. Sunny says he needs to get to know anyone who is going to be around Avery, and Austin can understand that. Sunny wonders if Austin is behind Ava wanting a new nanny. Ava scoffs certainly not, and Peeler has been negligent. A man interrupts them and introduces himself as Gordon Stephen, a former patient of Austin's. He's one of the people Mason sent to Austin to patch up. Austin says, Okay, nice to see you again. Gordon says, Maybe not. Ava explains they are having lunch, but Gordon says he needs immediate attention. Austin asks Gordon to go somewhere private to speak. Nana says that was unexpected, and Ava says a doctor is always on call. Sunny points out he always puts Nina first, and they have no secrets. He asks Ava if she and Austin have secrets. Ava says she and Austin like a little mystery. Sunny thinks that Gordon guy seems serious, but Ava says Austin can handle himself. He faced down the quartermains after all. Sunny excuses himself, and Ava tells Nina this is going great. Austin and Gordon go out back, and Gordon says he's here about his cousin. He says Mason hasn't paid for his services. He demands Austin talk to his cousin, as he knows he is just as much involved in this as Mason is. Austin says they are done here and tries to walk away, but Gordon grabs him and asks how hard it is to operate with a broken arm. Sonny appears and says, you break him and I break you. Sonny demands Gordon apologize to his friend Austin, so he does. Sonny orders Gordon to go, so Gordon takes off. Austin tries to explain patients sometimes don't understand they can't always help everyone and they sometimes get angry. Sunny suggests they get back to the ladies. Sunny and Austin return to the table, and Nina says she's so glad they could do this. Sunny thinks back to what he saw and overheard between Gordon and Austin in the back alley about Mason. At Pentonville, Esme is surprised when Cyrus sits at her table. She thinks he has made a mistake, but she's who he wants to see. She asks if she knows him. He says she doesn't, but he knows all about who she was and who she isn't any longer. Cyrus calls himself a fellow pilgrim on a journey to change hearts and minds about past mistakes. He says they were both on the wrong path, but now that they've changed, people doubt them. Cyrus also explains her child as a part of his family. She immediately assumes he's a Cassidine, but he explains Laura is his sister, so Ace is family. Heather arrives and says she is all the family her daughter and grandson need and Cyrus should scram. Cyrus hopes to talk to Esme again and exits. Hither warns Esme not to talk to other inmates as they may be dangerous. Esme responds, like you? Heather is so happy to see her, 
and thanks her for giving her a second chance. Esme informs Heather that's not why she's here. She came because she needs answers. She asks Heather why she abandoned her. Heather swears she loved her from the moment she was born, but she had made so many mistakes and just wanted the best for her, even if that meant making the ultimate sacrifice. She made a sacrifice for her, and now Esma's doing what she needs to do for her baby. Esma blasts her and says she's nothing like her. Heather disagrees and thinks that's why she's here, that she's realized how much they have in common.